I would talk to Pat, and he said that if the Nam stayed the same, that he would break the tie, and I think Katie would vote for me to stay. proud of continuing my streak of winning HOH at the most inopportune times. A, I can't compete in Final Four, and B, I have to put two people up that were not going to put me up. <laughs> I went into it saying that this was not an HOH for me to win, it would have been stupid to win it, but then I think my pride took over um, because I rocket puzzles. I can play the middle all game if I want. I know sometimes a middle game can win it and can gain a lot of respect from people, but more often than not, people want to see a well-rounded winner. They want to see someone that balances the social and the mental and the strategy and the physicality. If I have a win in my hands, why throw it away? I knew that if I were to win, Willie would be my target. Um, he's the only person who I can honestly say I don't know where his head is at. I think that I would probably have gone up if he won. The second one is where it gets tough because I have essentially final threes with um, Katie and Jason and with Katie and Mike. I'm telling Willie that he's going up because I made deals with Katie and Mike during the, their HOHs that I would keep them off if I won. And then Jason knows that he's not the target. Hopefully I can get through this smoothly. I would love the noms to stay the same, so I'm going to fight hard this week. I'm not afraid to get blood on my hands. I just don't want to do it if I don't have to. And this was the time that I didn't have to, but maybe it was the most important of all. Um, we'll find out later. Essentially, I think he beats anyone in the finals, no matter who they are. He wins automatically. In order for me to win this game, he needs to go. It's just that simple. I need Patrick out. And it kind of gets to the point where it's kind of like, what is, what, is, what is my plan of attack? Obviously, I can't do anything this week. I was perfectly fine with going up this week because I'll, fine and not fine. It shows that he's full of shit and that he's actually smarter than he, he's letting everyone believe. But I see right through him. But at the same time, it is allowing myself kind of the, you know, play up the gullible act. I will personally evict him. It is my first chance in this game to actually make a big move. I feel like I haven't had much of a chance to play this game. I haven't had a chance to really strategize, to really manipulate, because everything's been kind of unanimous. Everything has been very easy to do. And that is why this week I'm starting to think a little differently. Like, perhaps if Patrick was smart, he'd make the first move. And there's not much I can do at this point other than win veto. It's just my thoughts are all over the place. I, I see him as a gamer. I see him as somebody who, if I were to get rid of, I don't think I would lose his jury vote. I think he would respect it. He's done and he's seen these shows so many times. And I think he has to know that he's in the prime position to win and should be the biggest target in this game. But he's not. because He's playing smart and we're all playing stupid. We're all puppets right now. There's nothing we can do other than just wait till next week. That's all we can do. Truth be told, if he gets rid of me this week, all credit to him. He, so, he sees right through me. He's playing a, an incredible game. Hello, and welcome to your sixth Power of Veto competition of the season. What not to wear. Cheers and applause! Here is how you will play. You will be playing the role of fashion stylist to some of the Big Brother Basics alum. You will create a thread in your diary room for each player that made the top five from season one. Tom, Brandon, Nick, Kyle S., and Mateus. On go, the backyard will be unlocked, and you will find a closet filled with many articles of clothing. Your job is to grab the items of clothing that the Basics alumni prefer and place those items in the threads you created in your DR. Here are the items they prefer. Mateus likes scarves. Kyle S. likes Converse shoes. Nick likes silly hats. Brandon likes cardigans, and Tom likes graphic tees. Now, you must only place the items in the thread of the house guest that likes them. Each item is worth a different amount of points. Going by placements, Tom's graphic tees are worth five points. Brandon's cardigans are worth four points. Nick's hats are worth three points. Kyle's converses are worth two points. And Mateus's scarves are worth one point. You will have 10 minutes to rummage through the closet and to place the articles of clothing inside the threads you created in your diary room. 
There are some articles of clothing that are distractions, so be careful. The person who collects the most points will dress our basics alumni the best and will win this week's golden power of veto. Good luck, everybody. You have 10 minutes to gain as many points as possible. Your competition will begin in 3, 2, 1, begin. Oh my god, are you guys already there? My computer's so slow. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of loving some of these shoes, I'm just saying. <laughs> you looking to buy them? Having a mouse that would scroll is, seems very useful. Damn, that, ooh, that's a nice watch. Also, the only audio you're going to get this whole challenge is the music he's going to put over it and endless amounts of clicking. <laughs> so how was everyone's day? It was good. <laughs> Fucking A. I keep a I accidentally open PowerPoint. <laughs> there are some silly hats here. <laughs> there are. Five minutes remaining. Are you serious? Uh, oh, goodness. What? Keith, I'm going to have to ask you to check your time. You know what you should have done? We should have been spinning this whole challenge, too. Oh, God. Mike worked on that. <laughs> Every one minute, spin. You shut your mouth. You know what else is heart beating really fast? Or is it just mine? I think it's just yours. I mean, we're also the only ones on the block. That is true. Oh, god damn it. Because I'm not on the Skype chat on my computer, I can't see who's got what. I forget what. <laughs> Shit. What do you mean, see who's got what? Well, like, uh, how many points are worth everything? <laughs> Keith, are these from your own, like, fashion line? Like, is this what we expect after, you know, your hosting jobs? It's from the Campbell Select fashion line. Select the best. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's that's oh is that where that made up slogan came from? Oh, okay. One minute remaining! He's like 100% on my keyboard right now. Just throw, like, tuna across the room. Okay, well, I'm not getting up to get him tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I think that'd be a wise investment. Three. Oh, my time computer's so slow! It's now time to reveal the results of the competition. In last place, with a score of 59, is... Mike. In fourth place, with a score of 74, is... Katie. In third place, with a score of 78, is... Patrick. Leaving it down to Jason and Willie. One of you scored 107 points, and the other scored 113 points. The winner of this week's Golden Power of Veto is... Willie! Congratulations, you are the winner of the Golden Power of Veto. Yay! I think I did really good. I literally felt like I did... I killed it. Scores comes out. I get 107. I counted beforehand. I knew that's what I got. Willie goes and gets 113. And it's just so frustrating that I wasted my time getting like the one point. I got three one point items. What was the fucking point of that? And it's just so frustrating that I was so fucking close. I was this fucking close to actually winning. There's not much we can really say or do. It's just, I've got to put my faith in other people's hands. I'm also going to campaign to make sure everything stays good. I really don't see Katie backstabbing me. I, I would be shocked and appalled. It would be nice to, to win my first game. I, I've kind of, I've done that a couple of times <laughs> in my life, winning on the first try and then never, ever getting back up to that, um, that level of success. But it'd be interesting to, to see how far I can take it. And uh, I'm starting to think more and more that I can take this the whole way. Immediately after Willie won POV, I went straight to Patrick and I was like, listen, dude, let's just make it easy. Put me up. Um, I'll take this one for the team. I'm not worried. I know I have Katie's vote. I know I have your vote in the tiebreaker. Um, just put me on the block and, and uh, make it easy. All my trust is in this, uh, this Canadian dodgeballer and um, and this Minnesotan Snuggy wearer. I nominate Willie with him as my target. He offers me a final two. So that puts me in a little bit of a weird spot because, you know, I congratulated him. I told him yesterday that he wasn't the target. So he came to me and he was like, you still want to stick with the plan from yesterday? And I was like, what was the plan from yesterday? Because we didn't really make a plan. I just told him he wasn't the target. He was like, the plan of sending Jason out. And I was like, 
oh yeah, I was like, I want you and Katie, I, I was like, I think I'm gonna put Mike up, um, because he volunteered after HOH, because he knows that Katie wouldn't vote him out. So I told him, I, so I was like, perfect, that makes an easy nom. I told Mike, okay, I'm probably going to put you up then. I told Willie, yeah, I think I'm going to put Mike up. I want you and, do, you and Katie to do what's best for your game. And then Willie sends me a really long message, basically saying like, well, that brings up a good point, because I wanted to have this conversation yesterday, but with me as a nom, I didn't think it made sense, but now it does. You know, I think that our head's in the same place. Uh, I think that we have the best shot with each other at the end. So essentially, Willie thinks that um, I'm the only person left that he can beat, which is great. That's the position that I want to be in. I think at this point, like, obviously, I can be a little naive, but, you know, everyone has essentially proposed to me a final two at this point. I think I may get out of this HOH a little bit clean. I'm glad that I won this HOH and don't have to fight for Final Four. Obviously, Final Four noms don't mean a whole lot, but I don't want to get more blood on my hands than I need to because I think that I'm going to be able to get through this still having essentially everyone in the game pretty tightly by my side. I know that Mike and Willie are my best shots at winning this game. I don't think that I can beat Katie at the end. Um, in a perfect world, someone else would take her out, but if I have to, I will. Um, I wouldn't do it until final 3 HOH, but if I were to win at that point, I would take her out. So I think that I'm in a fairly good spot to get to the end, and, I'm, and I've done, you know, enough to pad my resume at this point. Like, I've played the social middle game that I think you know, shows a lot of good strategy, and I've also, you know, gotten blood on my hands. I've had two HOHs. I have a lot that I can pitch at the end. Um, I've been saving my notes. I know how to talk to a jury. I know how to talk around everyone else's game, um, and I'm just hoping that I get the chance to do it because I've positioned myself exactly where I want to be. Please gather in the living room. It's time for the veto ceremony. This is the veto ceremony. Jason and I have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power of veto of one of Patrick's nominations. I will now give Jason the chance to tell me why I should use a golden power veto on him. Well, Willie, if you can hear me over this harmony, um, I think, kind of like my shirt says, if you can read it, that we're all made to do great things, if you can kind of receive. So, so, in order for you to do something amazing, iconic, something never seen before, never, you should use the power, that's Willie, you should use the power of veto on me, and it would be hilarious. All right. Well, you know what? That was a brilliant speech by Jason. Like, I really want to do great things right now, but, you know, it's final five right now, and... I really don't want to rock the boat, and I was thinking maybe not even use the veto and just like keep the knob the same, but I'm going to do the boring thing, and I've decided to use the power of veto on myself. So Patrick, since I decided to remove one of your nominations, you must now name a replacement nominee. You got it. Congratulations, Willie. Um, so I only have two options. Um... So that's what it comes down to. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm going to put up Mike. This veto ceremony has been a joy. I don't know where Willie's vote will fall, and I'm going to have a talk with him today to kind of see where his head's at. Um, I don't really know. Like, to, to play against, like, to do the Willie thing is so risky because he very easily could come next week and say all this shit to try to get me to go against, um, or to try to get me evicted next week if he doesn't end up winning. I, like, I, as you can see, I'm very not sure. Like, uh, like maybe I should be confident as fuck in this plan and i going to go throw it without a hitch. But I don't personally feel that. I personally feel kind of in danger. Uh, uh, I'm grateful. Grateful for the opportunity kind of to kind of get in uh, my first kind of look into this kind of org community. Um, and they seem like a blast. It would suck if this is how it ends. Uh blindsided about your allies but is, is there really a better way to go out other than completely blindsided by people who are playing the game i don't think so and uh, i will respect their move pissed but i will respect their move i think that i'm going to have to do something not so nice tonight and blindside jason 
if I give him enough time to think about what he's going to say, I'm going to get another roasting goodbye speech, just like Ryan and Kirsten's, where I get called out for some craziness. And you know what? That needs to stop. And it keeps happening when people are aware that they're going home. So, Jason, I'm hoping he can get over it. He realizes it's a game, and he's a gamer, right? And that way I still have a chance for his vote and jury. If not, I've made enough enemies that I think I can actually have a pretty good argument that I played this game really well. And they may not like me, but they might respect my gameplay. So let's uh, let's hope that happens. Again, would have probably preferred to get Willie out, but it's going to look like it's my fault because I was in an alliance with Jason and I'm the one that has to vote. HOH had to put up. He had no choice. You know, I always feel like it's coming down to me. and. Because at least I know I'm out here doing my best. Let's check in with the house guests now. I'll start off with our HOH. Congratulations on winning HOH. You made that puzzle seem very basic. What was your reaction when you won Final Five HOH? I mean, I was excited. I was really surprised, honestly. I had never done a pen pentagram, cryptogram. I had never done a cryptogram before. Um, but when what I I got a little bit lucky with guessing two of the words, and then once I got into the slider, I knew that, like, sliders are my life. Um, so once I got, I mean, that one I got through, I think, based on strict luck, but once I saw the slider, I pretty much knew that I had it in the bag. So I was excited. I mean, it's Final Five. Not always the most ideal HOH to win, but, I mean, locks up Final Four. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yes, you made Final Four. Also, congratulations. Someone else who made Final Four with this great POV win, Willie. Willie, congratulations. You were on the block. You won the power of veto. What was your reaction when you were able to win that veto and guarantee your spot at Final Four? I mean, I was pumped, obviously, but, um, you know, I'm honestly more excited about the question. I'm super excited. You know, it took this long to get a question, and I'm just really proud of that. So I, I even had to try to throw in a birthday and a HOH, but you know what? If this is good enough, this is good enough. Excellent. Thank you so much, Willie. Uh, the next question is for Katie. Katie, uh, you were able to avoid the nomination chair this round with a lot of veto usages. And um, my question to you is, what is going to go through your mind without revealing your actual decision of what you're going to be thinking about going into the voting booth? Um, my factors are who likes me and won't put me up on the block because I've had some trouble in that department with people liking me so far in this season. And um, I would like to make sure that the person I keep around uh, won't hate me. So that's pretty much it. That's how I go based on anything. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Katie. That concludes our questions for the evening. In just a few moments, Willie and Katie will enter the diary room to cast their votes to evict. In the event of the tie, Patrick as the HOH will break it. But before we do that, we will allow each of the nominees to say why they should stay in the competition, and we will begin with Mike. All right. Um, so why, uh, why we should stay in the competition? Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make any any argument that I deserve to stay here more than Jason. Um, I'm just hoping that relationships that I've formed um, genuinely, uh, you know, win out tonight. And uh, you know, whatever whatever decisions everybody makes, it's a game. And we're you know, I hope I hope we're all friends afterwards, no matter what. But um, yeah, I think that's all I'll say. And then um, you know, good luck to Jason. You've played. A really great game, whatever happens tonight. Uh, it's been fun playing with you. Thank you very much. Jason, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, first of all, Mike, uh, best of luck, obviously, to you. Um, things things were interesting between me and you this entire game, and um, I think you're a decent person, and you know, I've, I've wish we gotten to know each other a little more, so best of luck to you, and whatever happens, or happens. Um, to the lady and the gentleman voting today, there's only two of you. Um, that's terrifying considering that we, it's, what, it's been five weeks, six weeks. I hope you guys do what is best in your interest and throughout this entire game. Hopefully the relationships I've built with both of you two hopefully allow you to keep me in this game. Now with that being said, 
we do need to realize that after this is final four. You really need to start thinking about what is your best option and who do you think is going to stay loyal to you throughout this entire game. I didn't really have much of a speech plan, so I'm kind of just saying whatever comes out of my ass. Thank you, guys. Uh, please keep me. Best of luck to you, Mike. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Jason. In just a few moments, I will send the voting links out shortly. Willie won the power of veto this week. Let's see how he votes. Hello, Willie. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. Well, it's pretty funny, Jason, that you were talking about loyalty and then talking about your ass, so you can stick your loyalty up your ass. I vote to evict Jason. Thank you very much, Willie. Please send the Google Hangout link to Katie. Katie has two final three deals with both of the nominees. Let's see how she votes. Hello, Katie. Hi. Hi. Evict. I vote to evict Jason. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the votes, the evicted house guests will have just a few moments to say their goodbyes, gather his belongings, and walk out the BB Basics doors. By a vote of two to zero, Jason, you have been evicted from the BB Basics house. Good move. Um, so, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, John Bennett Ramsey, for those of you who don't know, was a six-year-old American beauty, ch uh, beauty queen, beauty pageant queen, uh, born, who was from Colorado, for those of you who don't know. Um, she was born, she, um, unfortunately was murdered in 1996. That's two years before I was born. I'm Jason Gomez. I was murdered. On September 1st, 2016, a group of so-called allies. Uh, it's been a great game playing with you guys. Uh, I think you guys made an extremely smart move here. Uh, best of luck to you all. But you do really, really need, need to remember, if you're disliking the jury and you keep backstabbing people, you may not get any jury votes. But best of luck to you all. May the best person win. Really, there's only maybe two of you who deserve it. But best of luck. See you guys. And with that, we're down to our final four. Congratulations, you made the top four of Big Brother Basics. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 All right. Talk to you guys later. Hello, Jason. You may place your bags over there. Have a seat. Ah, fuck. <laughs> what are some of your initial reactions leaving the BB Basics house? I'm shocked it was a unanimous vote. Um, Katie, she got me. Uh, I didn't pin her as somebody who would actually be disloyal and go against her word. Um, but they had to do it. Like, th there's some sort of pride, I feel, because I feel I was evicted, blindsided, might I add, because I was more than likely going to beat everyone in the finals. Um, I knew it was going to happen because after... I did my DR, and then I was like, all right, let me go talk to more people. And I got nothing. Zilch, nada. I was like, oh, it's happening, isn't it? But uh, it, it's unfortunate, but what am I going to do? Wow. So you said you initially felt like there was no communication. You can tell that something was like afoot. <laughs> Um, was it by everybody in the house, or was it just by a particular group of people? Um, I felt like, uh, obviously... Willie, like, um, ah. obviously the alliance between myself, Katie, and Patrick, I, I thought was legit for this week. I knew next week it was going to crumble for sure, but I didn't think it would, uh, I would be the one to pretty much get the ax for it. So definitely, um, obviously Katie was gone, but then when she came back and I tried to talk to her, I got nothing out of her. So, eh, I think she kind of, she kind of get just talking to her gave me a bit of a hint that it was going to happen. You were very close to winning the Power of Veto competition. What was your reaction when the score was one thirteen to one hundred seven? I think you saw it. I think before you said it, I immediately just uh, it was just that that sense of defeat, that sense of 
uh, not really winning going away because I thought I could be safe this week, but really the sense of maybe giving myself another reason to win went away, like putting myself on that extra pedestal, that another competition win that I could have used in the jury. So pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you consider to be your closest ally throughout your Big Brother Basics experience? Um, none of them really, although I did have something with Katie and Patrick. Um, I would say slightly Patrick because I feel like he was much more transparent with me. Um, obviously, me and Katie became allies late in the game simply because, well, she had nobody to work with. She kind of got fucked over. And I was like, well, my alliance isn't giving me shit at all to work with. So let's try something. But no, I definitely think Pat was my, my number one. I'm curious to know at the end if he was sincere or if he knew about what was going on this week. I think he might have had an idea. But I'm curious to know what he would have done if I had won veto. Uh, you are joining the jury. Uh, what are some factors you're looking for in potentially voting for someone to win this whole thing? Um, convince me. Um, people who are just convincing and they can actually give a detailed, logical reason to why they should. Because I know how two people have played this game. Kate and Pat. I pretty much know what they've done prior to our alliance until maybe up to t today. So I know how they've been playing. And I know, obviously in my DRs, I know one of them has a better chance than the other. But at the same time, I want justified reasons. I want to know, first of all, why did Katie evict me? Is there another alliance that I don't know of? But the other two, like Mike and Willie, I don't got a fucking clue what they've done all game. And I want, to, I want to see them try to convince me. Give me actual reasons that are backed up with actual logic as to why you made the moves you did. There are a lot of things that happened this the Big Brother basic season with some twists and turns, instant eviction, saboteurs. What to you was the most shocking thing that's happened this whole game? I mean... Obviously, the fucking diamond power of Edo being used on my own HOH, which um, ah, I can't. Like, I, the separate twist was bad enough. Like, okay, now we've got to worry about who's spilling information to everyone because we don't know. Or who's making up information. Maybe that information wasn't made up, seeing as I just got evicted and three of the fucking four from that proposed alliance are still in there. But, um,. Definitely diamond power veto. I was so sure. Okay, we're getting rid of Mike. Let's go next week. And then, fuck. <laughs> I can't, I'm, it's, I, I want, simply because no one knew. No one knew. And no one, everyone had a read on her. Everyone knew she was sneaky. Uh, Kirsten was sneaky. And so for her to do that, shocked the fuck out of everyone, including me. I, I can't, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> what, uh, do you have any favorite memories uh, from this Big Brother Basic experience? One, one thing you look back on and can laugh about at Thanksgiving dinner? Um, probably my eviction. Um, me saying the entire time that I, I thought I would win. And um, people caught on. And I'm, I'm glad. It's, it's a, like I said, it's a you did well enough that they needed to get you out right at that exact moment to pretty much blindside you. And it's kind of like, I think I played a good game and I'm, I'm proud of it. So that's probably, my, that's probably the takeaway. Awesome. Uh, are, do you have any regrets? Any regrets looking back and saying, oh, I wish I did something different, anything like that? No, not really. Um, although maybe I wish um, Willie was maybe, maybe we could have patched things up after I kind of flipped on him, but it kind of just seemed like he didn't really feel like doing it and I didn't really feel like doing it. Um, I kind of wish I put a little more effort into it, um, but I still don't think that would have saved me. I think I did everything pretty much to the best of my abilities, other than win a few more competitions. Who do you think has the best chance to win? Um... Okay, I'll rank it down. I still think Pat's the number one easy pick to win. Um, I think Katie, if she's against Mike or Will, will win, and she will beat them, even though 
she's a complete backstabbing asshole. <laughs> um, but I can respect that. Um, I think Mike, if, it's, if Mike and Willie are in the finals, I feel bad because I feel like that's a really shitty way for the season to end. And I feel bad because CBS will cancel the show. Um, but I, I would say if Pat doesn't win and Katie doesn't win, neither of the other two, unless they convince me, unless there's some big fucking lie I don't know, neither of them deserve to win. Gotcha. Well, in the event that you're evicted tonight, we have some goodbye messages prepared for you. All right, can you see this? I can. I can see my kid is car. <laughs> oh, perfect. All right, um, your goodbye messages are over here. Let's take a look and let's listen. Jason, it's you or me tonight on the block. And uh, um, I guess what I, what I really want to say is that if, if I remember correctly, this is your first um, full length real org. Um, and I just think you've done a really great job. Jason, man, I'm so sorry that you're seeing this video right now. Um, like I've said from the beginning of the round, this was not supposed to be happening. Damn Vito got in the way. And I hate that this is what it has come down to if you're watching this. Uh, Jason, if you're watching this, it means I made the last minute decision to evict you and I'm sorry. But honestly, I think you're a huge threat in this game. I think so many people like you on jury, and I honestly think you're a little closer with Patrick than I am. And that worries me a little bit going into such final four and final three and whatnot. So I'm really sorry. I think you're awesome, but I had to do what was best for my game. And unfortunately, that means getting rid of you before it's way too late to get rid of you and you win this whole thing. So I All right. Any initial reactions? Um, Pat played it really safe in that eviction message and that kind of pisses me off because I do think he knowed about it and he tried to make it, he, he made it seem like he didn't. Um, uh, it's interesting that I feel like if Katie doesn't win, I think she'll feel stupid watching the show um, and thinking that I was closer to Patrick when in reality, I think... I probably would have took her. If, if it came down to us three in the finals, I probably would have evicted Patrick and took, uh, take. so it's interesting. Well, yes, it will be very interesting indeed. And you are on your way to the jury house where you'll help crown a winner on September 11th for the Big Brother Basics season two. Thank you so much, Jason. It was a pleasure hosting you. It was awesome watching you play. Thanks, Keith. I think I got the same position you got in your uh, Can You Survive game. I think you got fifth. Pretty yeah, sure. I got fifth in the two marks. <laughs> I got, Good job. I'm, I'm Mateus of the season, which is complete bipolar opposite because I'm not anywhere near as entertaining as he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you so much, Jason. I'll Thank talk you, to you for later. hosting, man. It's been a blast.